Well, we're here in our new hangar and we've finally come to a point where we've gotten to open. So we had, a, uh, we had an opening ceremony. We got to invite the local missionary community. We got to celebrate the hard work of our building team. They've been working tirelessly for the last six months. We finally opened the doors, moved the airplanes in, and have celebrated the completion of this work. So in January, we finally acquired this building and I got to walk in here for the first time. Um, and there, there, was, there was not much going on. The, the floor is a mess, the individual rooms around the back of the hangar, the seating was falling down, um, there, was, there was mold and cobwebs and, and multiple dead insects. It was just, it was a mess. The building hadn't been used for the last decade. Um, so we set out and started working through room by room. Uh, we repaired and rebuilt lots of walls. We, we changed some room layouts. It's truly a testament to God's faithfulness. God provided ways um, for us to acquire it and then has been faithful every step of the way. And um, we finally completed just the day of the ceremony. We were doing the last finishing touches. So we had a great time celebrating yesterday. We had a little ceremony with a ribbon cutting. Um, we had a great meal together. And then we ended the day with a sunset flyby. Big thank you to all our supporters, all the, all the donors that have made this possible. And we're excited for what lies ahead. And, and now we can work on the next step, which is registering as a maintenance base so that we can do all of our maintenance here in-house. This will greatly reduce our operating costs, making the missionary aviation service we offer a lot more affordable for the local missionary community.